Hello everyone and welcome back. I am Ruth Chelais and today I'm going to show you how to create a basic directory scanner for a website. I will use Python for this, but it can be done in any other programming language. Now let's get started. Before we begin, let's find out what this scanner does. Well, uh, based on the website URL and uh, a file which contains some directory names, it analyzes if those directories are available on that web page. You can think of it like a sort of brute force attack, but uh, instead of passwords, it verifies the existence of subpages. To clarify the things, uh, I will use the following example. We can assume our website is called uh, www.bestbeer.com and we have a list which contains, uh, I don't know, three directories, standard, uh, premium and uh, gold. We will have three web pages and the program will test if they exist. Those three web pages are uh, www.bestbeer.com slash standard, www.bestbeer.com slash premium, and uh, www.bestbeer.com slash gold. Okay, I have this schema here uh, to explain how this works. Whenever you want to access Apple's web page, it's just an example, it can be any other website. Your browser sends a GET request to the server where the website is hosted. Actually, you are demanding a resource from it. Well, the server receives your request and sends back a response. When the web page is loaded, it means that your request has been successfully resolved. In technical terms, we say the server returned the response code 200 to your GET request. Uh, if the page hadn't existed, you would have received a response with page not found. You know, a classic 404 error. Based on this status code of a request, we'll build our scanner. And now that we understood what is happening, it's time for coding. As I previously stated, I will use Python for this. And um, I will begin by importing request module. Keep in mind that this isn't a default module, so you need to install it before. I have already done it. And we're going to need it to send our GET request to the pages that we want to check. So let's import the module. Good. Now, the next step is to define our two variables, uh, the one for the website and the one for the file which contains the list of directories that will be scanned. So define variables. I will call my URL I will explain later why I put this value uh, for my URL and also for um, the one for directory list Okay, we're done with this since we have the two variables, uh, it is time to create our list of full URLs that will be scanned. So, create list full URLs. First of all, we will have to create a new variable, which will be an empty list. In this one, we will store the uh, set all the URLs that will be uh, scanned, and we need now to create actually the URL. So. We will <clears throat> open the file with the directories. Open directory list in read mode. Okay, next we will parse this for directory, directory in their content. Uh, we'll have to create the full URL. If you remember the example with uh, www.bestbeer.com slash premium, um, this whole link is made from the basic URL, www.bestbeer.com, plus a slash, and plus uh, premium, which is uh, the value of uh, the variable uh, directory in our case at, um, at that point. So. Plus di uh, directory, and we'll apply also the strip method to um, eliminate other um, other character spaces, new lines, and um, so on. 
after we have this, we'll just append this uh, URL to the list of full um, URLs. So, and, URL. and once we're done with this, we're going to close also the file we used to read. So, Good. Uh, we have the list of full URLs to be scanned and we'll parse this list and for each URL uh, you uh, we will send a GET request and based on the status code we get we will filter um, the results. So send GET requests to URLs. Now for URL in full URLs we will store uh, the request in this uh, variable URL request. request .get for our um, yeah, URL. And now, uh, if the request uh, if the request is successful, it will have a status code of um, 200. So we'll uh, use this thing. We will just uh, just print that we found this uh, URL. So found and our um, uh, URL. Let's add the print statement before to know when uh, uh, scanning and one at the end when it ended. Good. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, this is the minimum code to say so for this um, for our purpose. There's a lot of improvement in code design and so on, but uh, I just wanted to show you how how to do this. It's time to test our script. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure how legal it is to perform uh, a site scan on an official website. This is why I'm going to use a machine from a Try Hack Me challenge. Do you remember the URL I set in the script? This is the reason why I put that value uh, for our variable. Uh, also, for directory list, I used an already existing file on my machine, common.txt, which is from another scanner tool that comes installed in Parrot OS. Its name is uh, Dearbuster. Now let's, uh, let's begin the scanning and uh, see what we get. So, okay, we started the scanning and now we have to have to wait. I want to let you know that uh, an improved version of this tool is available on my GitHub repository. I have left the link in the description of this video. So in case you are interested, you can check it. You can find there some other things. So I don't know, have a look. Uh, this can will take a while, so I will pause the video and come back uh, when it's done. We're back and uh, the script finished running. Um, as you can see, we have here the results. It found uh, four, uh, four URLs. Basically, the first and the second one are the same and they're the home page of, uh, of the website, but we have other uh, two results um, that we found. As you could previously see, uh, we found four pages, but two of them are literally the home page. However, uh, there are other two available, uh, robots.txt and uh, simple. Let's see what we get when you try to access uh, these two. Let's uh, first start with the uh, robots. So, HTTP. So as you can see, we find uh, we actually find something here. There is a text file, and let's check also for uh, the other one. Okay, we have simple, and as you can see, we also have here a valid page. So uh, our script worked um, worked fine. We're done. Uh, good. In this video, we saw how we can create a tool to scan a website for uh, subpages. 
I want to thank you for your time and effort in watching this and I hope I will see you at my next video. Bye bye! Thank you.